In this video, I wanted to talk about my recent pickup of the GTX 1080 graphics card. This is a probably an old gem for most of you, but I actually just picked it up to do some ML training, believe it or not. I just thought it was really impressive for its specs and the price to performance, obviously in 2026. Uh, it is probably like a really old card now, but still performant uh, and it's very impressive. Uh, here's it in my rig. So I've been actually using it to do some ML training for computer vision algorithms. Um, and the card's really performant for that, uh, I guess, specific task. But obviously, uh, most of you will probably use it for gaming. I just wanted to kind of, you know, post a video that I think it's still a really good card. And I was really, really impressed with it. Um, and I was able to kind of uh, train my ML algorithm pretty, pretty uh, fast. Um, obviously, it depends on what algorithm you're running and what you're doing and the context, obviously, of how much you're training. Uh, but for what I was doing, it was it was pretty good. Obviously, it's not going to be blazing fast compared to really beefy cards, but I think you have to kind of adjust your expectations. So when I say fast, I mean, I'm, I'm adequately happy, but training might take a couple of days. Just a very quick video. Um, but I thought the card was really, really just impressive. I was a bit worried when I first ran it because it was getting really hot. So if I previously show you some previous stats, here's it averaging at 60 degrees, but it did go up to 80 when it was like actually properly running and when I was training. So I was a bit concerned, but then I think that was the average kind of temperature I was expecting, but it's also because I don't have any fans. Uh, or lots of fans on my rig. I was slightly concerned, but it was fine. I think in terms of VRAM, I eight gigs, so that's pretty good. The, when I was running the algorithm, it took it up to seven gigs, so I had some left. Uh, yeah, so I'm running a basically an AMD uh, integrated graphics, but it doesn't switch uh, to using that, so automatically it uses the PCI card, and that means it takes up some of the VRAM to display just Linux or your desktop. Um, so I was a bit annoyed by that because obviously it's eating into my eight gigs that I want to use for training. Uh, but it's fine because at the end, um, even with it running the desktop, it went up to seven, seven uh, gigabytes of VRAM and I had some left over. So it's fine. So obviously I think it just matters in context of what you want to do, what you're training, how do you want to use the card and obviously your setup for optimal performance. So that's heating and uh, cooling and all that sort of, sort of stuff. But it's pretty good. So even if it's an old card, it's not power efficient. It's 180 watts. It's not bad. My 3060 with 12 gigs of RAM is 160 watts, if I remember correctly. Um, I think that's what I think that's what the card outputs. But even though it's, that's not that bad, it just takes one PCIe connector to power the card, which was a big kind of thing for me because obviously, if you need two, um, then you need to get a you know more beefier PSU. And my rig doesn't have a, a 750 watt, it has a 650 watt PSU. The 1080 is really good still in 2026 or end of 2025, however you like like to look at it. Um, but it was very impressive. Um, the specs are great. And for the price you pay, I think it's a really good card. For budget builds, it might be really good. Obviously for gaming, I haven't run it for gaming. I'm just doing it for ML training uh, and specifically just uh, computer vision algorithms. So YOLO, um, so very interested in that sense. Um, but other than that, I think if anybody wants to pick up a card, that's a decent, decent card still. And, you know, even after almost a decade, I think, um, it's, it's pretty good. So that's it for me in this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks everybody.